What's going on, everybody? It's Physical Friday, and this week I want to talk to you about um, the first CrossFit Games champion, Jason Kalipa. Jason Kalipa is a very motivational guy. I really like him. I liked him when he won. I've liked him when he has attempted to to win again. I've seen a comeback. Now he's got a different message. Now his message is all about providing, being the best dad that he can possibly be. Part of that is training. Part of that is nutrition and diet. Part of that is learning skills like jujitsu or wrestling or boxing or or you know, any sort of, of self-protection so that you can protect yourself and your family. And that's, that's Jason's new message. And I subscribe to his uh, newsletter and I, you know, I really like what I'm getting. I like it. Don't have any affiliation with Jason. I've never met him and uh, I'd love to have him on the podcast. So Jason, if you're listening, come on on. I'd love to talk to you on the podcast, but in these newsletters that he's sending, he has a very consistent message that I really like. And I thought maybe you would like it too. And that is never zero. And what he means by that is, you know, and, and you gotta you gotta realize that this is someone that has taken his fitness to the highest level. CrossFit Games champion, been at the CrossFit Games a bunch of times, and he is he is very fit, determined, driven individual. But it happens to us all, man. You go in you're getting ready to go to the gym or you've got something written on your program or something happens. You just don't have the motivation to do this two hour workout that you have scheduled. You just don't have the motivation to go run 15 miles like your program uh, calls for, or you don't have the motivation to go do your water aerobics class at the Y any level. It happens at the most elite level and it happens at the most basic introductory level, there are times where you just don't feel like it, right? So there's all kinds of people that can tell you all kinds of things about how to overcome that and have the discipline and have the, the mental strength to overcome that. And sometimes you do have to do that. In fact, a lot of times you have to do that. But what Jason's message is about never zero, I find interesting. Because his message is, look, if you don't feel like doing it, that's fine. But just don't do nothing, right? Never zero. So if you feel like, I don't feel like doing the 15-mile run or the two-mile run, whatever, okay, that's fine. You cannot do that. But put your running shoes on and start walking. At least you got to walk in. And if that's all you get, great. You, net, you did not zero. You got something in. But you know what happens a lot of times when you don't feel like lifting the weights that you're supposed to today or you don't feel like doing the run? You get, you put on the shoes, you go where you're supposed to go, and you start doing some stretching and you start doing some, some light warm ups. Then it becomes a little bit easier for you to do something a little bit harder and a little bit harder. And the next thing you know, you're actually in the workout. And maybe you don't have the energy to fully commit to the workout like you want to, but maybe instead of not doing it at all, you did half of it. Maybe instead of not doing it at all and eating a giant bowl of ice cream on your couch, you actually got there, you did some stretching, and you walked a couple miles. The difference in trajectory between the two is massive. So I really like that message of just never zero and, and you know, I salute you, Jason. That's a good message. I really do. If you want to learn more about Jason, you can find him on Instagram. We'll link it below because I'm a big fan. Um, and I'm a big fan mostly of that message. Never zero. Always get something in. It doesn't have to be extreme and it doesn't have to be exactly what you had planned on. But it's also not nothing. Never zero. All right. We'll see you next week. Thank you.